Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed your week. I'm going to keep it very brief and very short because we did not do that much this week. So essentially, all we did was that we finished the rest of our MERN infrastructure. So by the beginning of the week, we had a completely full stack application um, called SEI Cafe, and it was a mock cafe where somebody could either sign up or log in, and then they could um, put an order in. So kind of like if you were ordering from Domino's or your favorite restaurant in your city, where you would, where you may or may not have to log in to um, complete or order from online, but in our case, we did implement that. So you could sign in, you could pick a dessert, a drink, food, entree, calculate it, and then um, essentially you would go on. We didn't put the payment features, but essentially you could go on to then pay um, for your order. So that completed not only our MERN infrastructure, but also what we called the SCI Cafe, along with the shopping cart included. So all those things combined is what we worked on um, for the better half of the week. What I appreciate about GA is that they allowed us to um, learn how to do things outside of our class repo. So normally we're pulling from our class repo, but in this case, we were able to save some of these projects outside of it. So in the future, if you wanna go in freelance or you need to, for whatever reason, like maybe you wanna recreate something for your own personal use, you're able to have access to the starter code. So you're not starting for completely from scratch. This is important because they remind us that in the real world, unless you're working for like a brand new company, most of the companies that you'll be working with or for will have code already there. So you're not really starting from scratch. It's very, they were like, it's very rare that in the real world you're starting from scratch. So I appreciate that because I know for myself, there are a few things that I do want to learn how to implement after the class is over. So it's great to kind of have some starter code to start off of. Um, and at the, rest, the end of the week, we, we kind of just went over that. We struggled a little bit. We put CRUD on our stuff. So again, that CRUD is create, read, slash, retrieve, update, and delete. So those are the main functions that we added to, which actually that lecture didn't even take long because we've done it and we did it a lot in the last unit. So it was very short. It was just about now implementing that with React since in the, in the past we were using EJS as our view and now our view is react so learning how to put two and two together so i'm not too worried about that portion for my project because now we are in project week and i will reveal next week what project i chose and kind of talk about more so why i chose it um but i'm not so worried about the crud part i'm worried about the react part and making it look nice because my project is a little complex so i want to make sure that i have enough time to do it so i've gotten a really early start on it and so that's what we did for the week. The last day was, was actually, Friday was our project day. So we had a short lecture on imposter syndrome, which I did appreciate because um, I don't, I wouldn't say I feel like I don't have imposter syndrome, but what I will say is that I feel like sometimes you lose sight of how far you've come. So even though we were talking, we got in groups and had discussions and talked more about how we were feeling and wrote down why, why we feel like we have imposter syndrome. So for those of you who don't know, imposter syndrome essentially is you feeling like you don't belong somewhere even though you may deserve to be there or you've worked hard to be there. Um, it's very easy to feel that way, especially as you're learning because you feel like, you know, you know, I told you like there's been certain times where I just feel like I'm just copying and pasting. I'm not really understanding what's going on, but just kind of copying and pasting and going along and like. Do I deserve to be here? Should I be here? Things like that. I don't think I've had a lot of those feelings more so, but I know it can like get tough. Like you're like, especially when they release us to do a project, you're just like, uh, where are they at? You know? And like I said, the benefit of being in general assembly is you do have somebody there to kind of answer your questions, ask questions too. If you're stuck on a question or you're stuck on something, like for a minute I was stuck on my, when I was creating my login form, it wasn't working. So I'm like, you know, and so the benefit of being in GA is, um, you know, we do have instructors, classmates, other people, our teaching assistant is there to help us debug. But you know, at some point, maybe that in between time, if you do have some in between time between getting a job and um, getting a job and working, you know, if you're building products on your own, there is no debugging channel. There is no you know, there's none of that. So you're gonna have to really be able to like either learn to implement that you're on your own or Google. You know, they say most of your job as a developer is Googling. That's what our instructors continue to remind us. So 
With imposter syndrome, apparently it never goes away. One of our instructors has been teaching and working in the field for a very long time and he said he still has it. So it's something that we have to continuously battle because you're battling yourself. And so I appreciate the lecture we had on Friday morning where we were going through that. And for me, I feel like I do have moments of imposter syndrome, but for me, how I kind of combat that is um, rem reminding myself how far I've come. I went from zero Git to zero GitHub, never really used it. All my projects saved on my computer because I just didn't really make sense to me, but I also didn't really practice it. Um, to really being able to understand the commands, what I'm doing, what I'm trying to do, Google, really been relying on Google, I'm the queen of Google. So now I've been like relying on that even more um, to help myself through the program and trying to learn to be com not completely self-sufficient, but kind of slowly working my way towards like really sitting and debugging on my own. If I'm, I've learned that when I'm trying to debug and it's not working, usually I'm not understanding what I'm doing. So I spend a little bit more try, time trying to understand. So that's essentially the end of what we did for this week. And then we started our project. So we got our projects, we did our approvals, we did our ERDs and our planning, and we were released for project week. So very short week. Um, and I'll keep this short because it was a, it was a short week. Finished React, added the shopping cart feature to our fake cafe and we talked about imposter syndrome not too much going on like I said I will do a I'm thinking about doing either a study with me or code with me or and or a day in the life during project week I didn't know what project week was prior to starting this boot camp and I didn't even being there until I had it I didn't understand exactly what it was so I'm thinking about doing a little bit of both so you guys can see what I'm talking about when I say project week especially since I'm not really too sure how project week would go after COVID or after quarantine. So this is mainly for the people that are watching this in 2021. I don't, I hope we're not here in 2022 still, but in the case that we are, or you choose to do a remote class, you'll have a better idea of what I'm talking about when I say project week and what exactly that entails because we're not, we're not having lectures like that during this week. So that's all for me. Um, very short week, like I said, or well, quick, the week went by quick, but not much going on, nothing really new except Oh, lastly, adding CRUD. So we did CRUD in that, we did last unit. So that will be added to our project. So not much else going on past that. You guys keep your fingers crossed for me because you know project one was a struggle for me. I really struggled throughout that week and it was a hot mess and my project is ugly. So this is the first time I'm doing another project by myself. So I'm a little nervous, but I'm very excited because I'm, I have an idea that I really have been wanting to implement for a while and I can't wait to share it with you. And I hope that I have good news um come next week when i do my week nine project week re uh, recap like i said i also want to do maybe a day in the life or a study with me um during project week so you have a better understanding of what that is so look out for that as well maybe in between the times um so that's all for me have a great week and enjoy your life and take care of yourself <laughs>